Cardiff After Dark. Now, I'm terrible at getting names right, but I'm going to go for the name I use all the time, is Masic Dachevich. OK? I call him Dachevich all the time because I'm so conscious that I, I never pronounce his name right. I love this book. It resonates a little bit with me, this book, because I show this book a lot to students because I think it's a, it's a lovely, complete little British-based photo documentary project. It's nicely published. He's a great photographer, Datterich. I love his work. I think he's got a really good eye for detail and it shows in, in, in his street photography. I think Cardiff After Dark opens up a bag of worms in terms of British culture. And it resonates with me a lot because of the way it was treated a little bit in the press. And I, I find some of the, our national press treat this book a little bit unjustly. And it'd be interesting to just discuss that a little bit as I'm going through that. So you can see the size of it. It's, it's massive compared to that A4. And it's um, 11 and a half by just under 10 inches. It is a really good, sturdy hardback. And page-wise, we're looking at about 130, 128, something like that. Everything about this book, it's 99 colour photographs. Everything about this book, I think, shows a bit of class. I think the photography's class. Um, I think the presentation, Tebbs and Hudson have done a really good job on it. For those of you who don't know what it's about, basically, it is about Cardiff at night on a Friday or a Saturday or whatever, um, when the pubs are out, when everybody's been drinking, it's, as you're going to see, about people and drinking culture on the streets of notorious Cardiff. Not saying notorious in a bad way, but just for alcohol and fun and frolics. So I love the book. I love the shot with that squiggly line. I, I, I love it. I do show his work a lot to students. Um, I usually focus on... Every year with students, I focus on four or five photographers. So this year, I've continued with Dachevich. We're focusing on Margaret Mitchell. We're focusing on Jim Mottram. And we're focusing, focusing on Neil McDermott. One, because they're all um, very different in their approach and uh, uh, their aesthetics are very well um, documented and, and, and beautifully composed and their understanding of photography is unique. And saying that, I do concentrate on a lot of others like George Giorgio, Peter Dench, Martin Parr, amongst a lot of other people. So let's have a look through it. I'm not going to show you it all because you can buy this on, on, the, um, on Amazon and, and through uh, Dash Rich's website. He is a British-based photographer. Um, Matthew Dachewicz was born in uh, Poland in 76. Went to university in Poland, uh, lived in Hong Kong, and then spent seven years in Cardiff in Wales, where he obtained a PhD. And the fact that he obtained that PhD in Cardiff really annoyed me the way he was tret in the press. Anyway, I'll get to that in a minute. So we've got Sean O'Hagan and... Um, uh, uh, we've got this sort of, I think it's an essay, a little essay, a little intro into the, um, into the works. And basically the book is about his meetings with an assortment of people, um, an assortment of characters, assortment of drunkenness and awkwardness, and the environment which the people involved took care of. There's some absolutely... Oh, there's just some great pictures of my life in this book. Anyway, I'm going to show you them. So let me bring this down. So we've got party Sunday, 12th and 9, 10, 02, 11 in the morning. Oh, this is just one of my favourite shots. Look at this. I love this shot. I think we've all got a mate like that, haven't we? And, and, and it's the whole interaction, and he's so good at constructing narrative within the shot and that's one of his strong points and you can see the way he's looking at people and stuff that is a big feature in his work the sort of front plane and the back plane the mid plane and how he interacts with everything he's always on the search it's like a predator um one of my favorite shots not my most favorite shot but it's really just really fun to watch and it reminds me of one of my mates um ah, look at that isn't that amazing one of the newspapers 
said the high, the, the, the sort of headline was foreign lens shows um, British culture for what it is and something like that and that was the Daily Mail and I thought that was atrocious and it was interesting to see the comments which followed that by the public were about 2,000 or so comments after that defending the work saying you know we, we have to look at this sort of stuff but also when it was shot how it was shot and uh, people were just enjoying themselves and it's like you know how can how can you slag something off like that it's just observed photography you know it's just look at the narrative it's just how can you start saying and bring in a sort of foreign lens concept into it the guy's just spent eight years studying in this country putting stuff back in into the country he's this book's published by a British publisher which helps generate income and it's just it's ridiculous I'm sick of it you know um, appreciate stuff for what they are and what it is and it's like you can see that it's a well documented piece of work it's done quite respectively some of it's done quite brilliantly and it's it, it's a warts and all view you know I think it deserves a merit for it not not a co not a condemnation and I liked some of the stuff the Guardian put out in calling it art and and I like their stance on that. And there was a lot of other stuff, um, Welsh online or something like that, that they were, they were sort of thanking it in a way as a sort of, this could be anywhere in the country, never mind Cardiff. You know, I think it was, this is a sort of microcosm for anywhere in the country. And I think Cardiff was the place that he chose to do it. There's obviously stuff like this where, you know, there's playing on stuff, but so what? That's his artistic license as a photographer. This is 3.33 in the morning and, He's using signage, front plane, back plane, mid plane. He's using it all, you know, and, and, and he's, he's a very clever, observed and tired photographer, probably. Um, this, for me, is just beautiful, isn't it? Oh, I wonder if he's got that on his mantelpiece at home. It's just... I, I, I've looked at that for hours. I've never stopped laughing at it. It's just his leg. It's just fantastic. I'm missing the left side out, if you know, because I think it's important. Um, what it's important that you maybe go out and look for this and buy this. And I think again, as a reference for other photographers wanting to cover street photography, learn from this. Learn about how it composes. Look at just simple street people passing. Look at how he connects people all the time, and he does this a few times. I'm going to show you one of the best shots in the book in a minute. There's two best shots in the book. And I haven't come across it yet. That could be anywhere. That could be Newcastle or Edinburgh. I love that as well. That getting the phone number. I hope it was waterproof, the pen. You know, you're not... It's, it's, I like that, and it's classic sort of woman, maybe a bit submissive, but then again, he's country like countering it with the sort of man version of it you know it's the male sort of side of it and then the female side it's great you know let's um, look at that isn't that great <laughs> wonderful it's must have been hard work shooting this he made it look so easy but I guess it can be quite a volatile environment and especially being as the Daily Mail put it a foreigner um, that's great look at that and I think he's done a, a marvelous job of something which is with subject matter with 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 construction and 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 of narrative and the imagery and you know everything is just come together and I think he's done an amazingly clever job on it. There's stuff, a lot of stuff I'm missing out. On the left side, thankfully, there's a lot of sort of um, quite sort of um, suggestive stuff with some flesh and things like that. And look at that, isn't that beautiful? Look at that, isn't that sinister? Isn't that fantastic? I have a feeling, look at that, it's great. Oh, it's wonderful. Look at that. That, that. that is just such... How can you slag that off, you know? 
this is stuff we see every day and somebody's gone out and made us realize this is going on it's fantastic and let's get i i think i think another thing as well one thing what disappoints me in this book is the way we treat our our, our, our sort of street and the litter is disgraceful it really is it really is the way we we litter the, our, our environment that's the only sad side of this book you know is what i'm saying is that sort of um our involvement with the environment and how we just throw everything on the floor obviously we don't care when we're drunk this again you know a, a technically fantastic shot great depth of field and look i can't see much grain on the shot you know it's like it's fantastic and both sides I'm hoping, well I know, one of my favourite shots is coming up. I'm skipping an awful lot, that's a sort of bad casualty result of the night. And obviously there's the fighting, which is not great, we don't need it. <laughs> it's fantastic. Uh, I've left some of that brutality out, because that forms part of it, you know. But... That's fantastic. But now I feel this for me, like the two shots which I love in this book, and one of my favourite shots is this shot. This is a masterful stroke of photography, right? Look how everything works together. Look at the eye lines, look at the relationship with this guy, the mouth, the chip, the eye lines with this guy. The, the, the positioning here of the woman eating with the f guy, the food, the couple kissing, this girl looking here, these two guys looking here, the foreground, this guy, the lines leading you up, the composition, the actual, that, um, the, the, the fact that he's exposed it perfectly. It's, this, is a, this is a mark of a really clever photographer. It, it, never mind just getting the exposure right, that he's being able to capture this whole thingy, you know, he's been able to capture this whole composition to work so perfectly together. And for me, one of the stars of the show is this. It's just, I keep thinking that's a pea on the floor and he's trying to pick it up. It was obviously a chip, but that is just, for me, I just, well, it's an astounding shot. I love it. It says so much and we've all Maybe we've all, maybe not all of us have been there, but I've never picked a chip up off the floor. But um, in my youth, I've felt like that, if you can say that, as a student. This is an annoying shot for me with this litter. I get annoyed at litter, I do. But I think it's an incredibly poignant image, which when you are stripping apart this book and you're talking about uh, drink culture, you're talking about youth culture, you're talking about Cardiff. We're talking about environment impact of of our wasteful society. Then this this shot for me sums a lot of things up. So I'm going to let it run onto this. I think this is an apt way to finish a fantastic book. I'm going to bring this camera back up a little bit. I love this book. Uh, it's a treasured place. I'm pleased I've got it signed. I think I've left a lot out, quite a lot out. I think I've showed you about half the book. I hope that one day I will learn how to pronounce Masaj Dachevich's name properly. I hope that he can put me right on that someday. Thank you for this book. Um, it's one of my treasures and I think you should go and buy it. I put his website link in the, in the information box and um, get out and buy this book, it's fantastic. <laughs>